Imagine what could happen if knowledgeable pro-family voters showed up in November. CitizenLink is working on a massive project to identify, inform, and motivate people like us in key states. You can help. Go to CitizenLink.com and click on the banner. Tennessee voters will make an important decision when they head to the polls in November, one that could affect the lives of women and pre-born children. This is the Citizen Link Report. Hi, I'm Kim Troby. Well, Tennessee Amendment 1 will be heading to voters in just a few weeks. The Family Action Council of Tennessee, one of Citizen Link's 38 Associated Family Policy Councils, has been working hard to pass this important amendment. Today, we thought we would share with you from a series of videos they've put together explaining Tennessee Amendment 1. David Fowler is president of Family Action Council of Tennessee, and he will explain first why the state needs such an amendment. We need Amendment 1 because four justices on the state Supreme Court decided back in 2000 that abortion was a fundamental right under our state constitution. Picture Roe v. Wade, issued by our United States Supreme Court in 1973, being done to our state constitution by our state Supreme Court. Unfortunately, the situation in Tennessee is even worse than it is under the U.S. Constitution because our state Supreme Court said that abortion was entitled to even greater protection than under Roe v. Wade. We are one of only 16 states that has a state constitutional right to abortion. The decision has had a chilling effect on pro-life voters. The effect of the court's decision was to remove our voice as citizens, your voice and my voice, to have a discussion and a debate among ourselves about what was necessary and important and what would be good to protect the, the lives and the well-being of women and children. The Tennessee Supreme Court said, we're going to take one side of that debate and make it a constitutional right and the rest of you can just go home. And that's really why we need Amendment 1, to restore our voice to decide what we think is best for women and children in Tennessee. Several pro-life laws in Tennessee were overturned as a result of the decision. Fowler explains why. Several years ago, the United States Supreme Court said that it was constitutional under the U.S. Constitution to ban the grisly, gruesome procedure of partial birth abortion. However, because that ban might not cover all partial birth abortions that might take place within a state, uh, several states began to pass their own state laws banning partial birth abortion. When that began to happen, some legislators in Tennessee went to our state's attorney general, our state's attorney, to say, would you give us an official opinion as to whether or not if we pass the same language that the U.S. Supreme Court has said is okay, would it be okay in Tennessee? Would it be okay under our state Supreme Court rulings? And his answer was, it would be constitutionally suspect. In other words, he didn't know if he could defend a statute as constitutional under our state constitution that the Supreme Court of the United States said was constitutional. In other words, there are greater protections for abortions to the extent you couldn't even ban partial birth abortion because of what our state Supreme Court did. That's how extreme our state Supreme Court was in deciding whose voices should be heard on important issues regarding the health and well-being of women and our unborn children. We want to thank David Fowler and his staff for all they do to protect families in the state of Tennessee. We'd also like to say thanks to the other 37 Associated Family Policy Councils for the work that they do on behalf of families in their states. As always, we'd love to hear from you. If you have comments or encouragement, please email us. That address is mail at citizenlink.com. That's mail at citizenlink.com. And again, pray for our elected officials. They have a difficult task. Pray for the issues that will be on the ballot in November. And as always, stand tall and be heard.